Good morning, day two. See how beautiful it is? Cause, cause it's wet. It rained last night. Probably rain today. I'm all dressed up in my attire. So yeah, hit the road and see what happens. So uh, a little bit later, start than usual. What time is it? About eight. Eight twenty. Eight twenty. Ooh, late. We got time today. No big deal. All right, so let's hit the road. Well, I uh, met a guy yesterday who said they just finished this 80-foot bridge. For me! Aren't we special? <laughs> and, and, of course, for Todd. So that was nice. Rather than doing the mud walk. We are about to cross the mighty Ontonagon River. Look at this bridge. Is this, a, this is a suspension bridge, right? I think it is. It's a little bouncy. Yeah. Word is, it's bouncy. The word's from that guy. Yeah, so. Ah, we take a little break. I'm gonna eat something. I don't know. We're a few miles in. Something like that. Two miles in? I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Let's go. bouncy doesn't it? <laughs> So I talked yesterday about these cedar trees. Well, cedar grows like big monsters. And all around us here is a grove of cedars. Sounds like it's raining, but it's not falling on us. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It will soon. I think we're just covered by this.
So that was Kun to Kun Falls, right along the Baltimore River. And uh, we get to walk from the falls on eh, very nice surfaces for the next uh, mile. Well, maybe. Something like that. Yeah, we're spoiled, rotten. No roots. No, roots, no big, you know, swampy. No logs to trip over. No logs to trip over. No branches are slapping the face. Yeah, and our pants are almost dried out, so bonus. All right, see you soon. Well, we made it to camp and uh, end of day two. And went a bit farther than I thought we would. In fact, we went uh, probably about four, maybe five more miles longer than what I thought we would. It was just hard finding a campsite. It was kind of mobile-y, you know, it was really hilly and bumpy. Everywhere from the place that we thought we were gonna camp all the way to here. And Todd, I think, just had to settle for something that would work. Um, not necessarily a great place for him to put his tent up, but um, you know, I made my hammock work because there was enough. There's good places for hammocks here. Um, yeah, so uh, so good day uh, in terms of mileage. Um, kind of hard day because it was wet. Um, um, my feet are still wet, and that's fine. I mean, that's what you get when you walk in the rain, right? <laughs> Okay, so tomorrow morning we will be fording the Antonagon River, less than a half mile from here. And that'll be our first thing that we do in the morning, get cold and wet. <laughs> then we head up the hill and go over to Victoria Dam area, where, um, where his wife, Betts, will meet us to drop off our resupply. So, looking forward to that. Um, I'm just kind of tired of being wet. My feet are getting a little bit cold right now, so I'm going to take off these shoes. I'm going to get in this hammock and... Um, Call it a night. I think I'm gonna 